I'm Piper and I'm from KidsInRubands.com and I'm here with Michael from Striper. Hey Piper. If a dog with no collar had followed you home when you were a kid, would your parents have let you keep it? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Actually, that happened. We found uh, a few cats when I was growing up and we took them in. <laughs> we found a few cats and we took them in and my dog is a, sh a shelter dog right now. His name's Caleb. And our cat is a feral cat that I was out blowing in the yard one day and I heard a, a, a kitty meowing and I found her in bushes. So I like to take animals in, absolutely. What was the best family vacation you ever went on? Oh, best family vacation ever went on. Oh, I'm gonna say, let me think about this, this is tough. I haven't been on too many vacations in my life, believe it or not. I think the best family vacation was when we went to Disneyland when I was a kid. We spent a couple days there. Uh, stayed near the, the uh, park in Anaheim and I have lots of fond memories of that. And I, I love Disneyland. I grew up about 15 minutes from it, so. Disneyland, for sure. Which are you better at, video games or board games? Uh, I think probably video games, but I'm good at board games too. What's your favorite video game? Favorite video game? Oh my gosh. Um, when I was a kid, I grew up on um, the original Atari video game, and I used to play a game called Tron, and I got really, really good at Tron. I, I, nobody could beat me, but that was back when I was 16 years old, 17 years old. Long time ago. <laughs> if you could be in a movie that's already been made, what movie would you be in and who would you play? Oh. That's a good question. I think I want to go with Batman, and I would play Batman. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. What's a phobia that you have? Flying. I don't like to fly. Um, <clears throat> I go through different um, uh, ups and downs in regard to flying. Sometimes I'm okay with it. And then if there's a lot of turbulence due to a storm or something like that, and then I'm not okay. It's hard for me to fly for a long time. I've always had a phobia. I actually saw a plane crash when I was a kid, so it, it it stayed with me for a long time. Is there a shirt in your closet that you'll never wear again but won't throw away? That's this shirt right here, but I've got about 25 of these, and this is all I wear. Black Calvin Klein t-shirts. I wear them every day. I'll never throw them away. What is something about your childhood that kids today will never understand? The kids today will never understand. Well, I mean, I was, uh, when I was a kid growing up, there were a couple of times when I was uh, disciplined, you know, and I, uh, I did some bad things as a kid that a kid would do. And, um, you know, I, I got, from my Nana, I got the switch to my hands, and from my dad, I got a belt to my, to my rear. And uh, I don't think kids really understand that nowadays, you know. I don't think a lot of people understand that nowadays. But I sure did, and it helped to make me a, a better guy. What's the spiciest thing that you've ever eaten? Spiciest thing I've ever eaten was accidentally a very hot pepper in um, a, a dish that I had. Uh, at an Asian restaurant and it was really really spicy for some reason and I it I had to go to the bathroom four or five times and excuse myself and try to cool my mouth off and my body off and it was it was unbearable my brother eats spicy food I know I mean I like spicy food but I don't I can't tolerate it as much he does he he's constantly putting spicy stuff all over his food not me <laughs> and finally can you name all the spice girls can I name a Spice Girl? All of them. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> no way, there's Posh, Spice. Uh, <laughs> help me out, who else? Um, Posh, Baby, Ginger, Sporty, and Scary. See, I was just on the verge of saying Ginger because I, I kind of remember that, but I'm, I, and I like the Spice Girls. I do, but I, I couldn't name them. I couldn't tell you, if you asked me to name the names of members in any band, I couldn't tell you all the names. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's awesome. Great job.